on the corner of Highway 146 and 393 in Buckner, Kentucky, you will find Oldham County High School. Our guest here today is the crown jewel of the Oldham County Wrestling Program. Sir, if you would, tell us who you are. I appreciate that kind introduction. I'm Jason Talbot and I uh, graduated from Oldham County High School in 1996. Um, proud alumni there. A lot of great wrestlers. Um, you know, a lot of them didn't make it to state finals or get all the credit, but certainly uh, amazing teammates and um, it, it, in wrestling, everyone knows it takes a village and all your teammates help you get to where you are. And uh, I owe a ton to all my former teammates at Oldham County and South Oldham too. We used to practice pretty closely with those guys and kind of share coaching staff as well. So um, yeah, very grateful to, to the amazing mentors and teammates I had back at Oldham County. Now, of course, you're a two-time state champion, 1994. This is your 1994 video and also 1996 as well. Be sure to watch Jason's 96 video. But anybody that we meet with, we are multiple times. Of course, everybody each year gets its own video, and we like to start at the beginning. So, Jason, man, um, yeah. LaGrange, like you said, yeah. you got North Oldham, South Oldham, Oldham County, Louisville right there, all that. Oldham County truly is one of the, the hotbeds of wrestling this past season. They had an individual boy state champion and an individual girl state champion. Um, I think now we'll go over it in a minute, but their total for Oldham County is 13. But I wow. have to I have to find out from you, man. Tell us, you've been a highly, you're harder to, to you're more, um, been more requested than Taylor Swift heiress tickets. You know what I mean? Yeah, Everybody, everywhere I go, what about Jason uh, Talbot? Jason Talbot, everywhere, uh, I, uh, especially Sean Smith. Uh, you know, Sean Smith definitely wanted to watch this match. He wanted right. to get your your take on it. But how do you get into wrestling, man? What's the story? What what gets you into it? Yeah, it was um, it was all about my brother Michael Talbot, who uh, wrestled at Trinity. He uh, went there. He we grew up in Oldham County, but he stayed with my grandparents through high school and, and wrestled at Trinity. And uh, they had an amazing program back then. And I just remember as even fourth, fifth grade, I guess fifth grader, and then the mid middle school watching Trinity wrestle and, and seeing their team and, and kind of, you know, what it was about to be on a high school wrestling team, especially a really good team, state, state contending team, and uh, really inspired me. My brother was a great mentor to me. And, you know, if it weren't for him, I never would have found the sport. So he got me into it. Um, I had complete plans to go to Trinity and follow in his footsteps and really wanted to do that. Uh, but, you know, Jerry Wel Whalen entered the picture. He came out and started coaching it at Oldham County and uh, got a middle school program going. He knew youth programs were kind of where it was at to get, get the program going. So he started uh, fifth, sixth, seventh graders, getting them out there on the mat. Um, and, and, you know, Jerry was like a father figure to me and just such a, a great mentor. And, you know, after a couple of years working with him, I knew I couldn't go to Trinity. I had to stay at Oldham County and uh, was really glad I did. I, Trinity's a great program, had great coaches, but uh, yep. sure I'm glad I got to stay at Oldham County uh, with Jerry and, and all the guys I got to wrestle with there. Yeah, Jerry, um, of course, he's a two-time state champion himself. And yep. we put out a trivia um, question the other day on my Facebook. I like to do every now and then state tournament wrestling trivia. And Jerry was the answer to the question of being uh, the um, the coach that has had a state champion at three different schools in three different right. decades. Of course, you in the 90s, the Martin brothers at Lawrence yeah. County in 040506, and then mm -hmm. um, the gentleman at Ashland he had in 2016, Grant Kruger, um, right. I think somebody come along and said there was a, a coach from the Louisville area that bounced to some public schools. Uh, we're still trying to confirm that to okay. be sure, but we know Jerry is yep. at least one. So you, um, Oldham County, it's like, if for those that have never been to Oldham County, very beautiful part of the state. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not that big as in like size of the County, but there's a lot of people there, especially now. So, the uh, the Oldham County program, was there like a lot of kids that signed up initially or was it like 
just you and maybe a couple others or because yeah. that's something we've not really got the chance to discuss on the channel yeah. so far. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a good question. Uh, Jerry was about, um, I would say, quality over quantity. And, uh, you know, he'll know, it was hard for him to have a full team, you know, full lineup with subs at each weight because, I mean, he just pushed guys so hard and, and he wasn't going to put up with a lot of stuff. So if you weren't there to give it 100%, you know, even if you were, uh, you know, a potential state champion, he wasn't going to, he wasn't going to put up with that. He had pretty strict uh, rules, and I really appreciated that. I think our team appreciated that. It, it, was, it built a cohesiveness, and and we had a lot of respect for each other and for the coaching staff. And you know, I think it was his. He'd rather forfeit a couple weights and, and have everyone, uh, you know, fill in the weights that wanted to be there and kind of pay their dues the way we were supposed to, yeah. than just kind of filling all the weight classes and and maybe uh, so. So it cost us sometimes, you know, not having the largest teams. Uh, practices were pretty grueling. And, yeah. uh, you know, we, we had a little bit of attrition uh, due to the just the, the nature of the, the, you know, Jerry's got a military background, too, and yep. that came into play a little bit. So, uh, but, but it made us stronger, those who kind of stuck it out and, uh, you know, better for it, not just in wrestling, not just in high school, but I think in life. Absolutely, man. And, the um, of course, like I said, Oldham County. We're gonna go over to state champions just in a minute. But their head coach now, Aaron Reardon, good friend of mine, him and his brother Josh. You got Brent Gibbs, a bunch of guys down there. Uh, we've all done videos with them. Uh, Oldham County. Their, I think it's their actual school program. They have a couple of like club teams in the area as well. But their Oldham, the Oldham County Middle School team, they've been right there at the top. They've placed a top two or three in the middle school state tournament. Same thing with the youth. So, you know, Aaron, he picked up the ball and ran wow. with it and, you know, doing a great thing. But Oldham County, you're the – you're going to be our um, fifth – your your videos, I should say, will be our fifth and sixth Oldham County videos on the channel. And the – I guess the people new to the sport, they've seen Oldham County – wrestlers on the podium are always in the finals one two couple people in the finals every year but Oldham County's first state champion come in 1985 with Mike Chisholm yeah. as a heavyweight yeah, heavyweight. Yep. Right. heavyweight and then there was a, a nine-year gap to you from 1985 was the first right. with Mike and then you uh, 94 96 mm -hmm. we've talked mm -hmm. to Pat um, Szyslowski He's still mm -hmm. in the area. We're going to be doing okay. Pat's. We were going to do his last year. Just could not get it. We were going to do his in person. Uh, just okay. could not get it lined up. Then sure. um, Aaron, their head coach now, Aaron Reardon, won it in 2000. Probably one of the best. Um, his video is on the channel. You need to go watch it. His oh, no, I'll check that out. is an absolute meat grinder. I mean, it, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's two massive humans. Yeah. Two mu muscle bound humans just going yeah. at it, son. It's yeah. crazy. It's like those big uh, rams that, you know, fight in the desert or whatever in the wilderness. Yeah. Boom, you'd see them just <laughs> run into each other. Oh, I got to check that out. But, and uh, Pat Aaron, had an older brother, Vic, who was uh, uh, 189, I think. He was a big guy, uh, Vic Sidlowski. And uh, he, he, was, he was a tough guy, too. Okay. Yeah. I, um, yeah. Pat, like I said, we're probably going to have to do his on Zoom. Yeah. And then uh, Josh reared in 2002. Uh, Matt Thompson, 2002, Brent Gibbs, 2003, uh, Ben Warner, uh, 2007, Alex McIntosh, 2015, and then we have to say uh, rest in peace to Max Emerson, uh, 2016 state champion. Tragically, um, Max, we're, uh, he's no longer with us. We're not going to go into that here. It was just an absolute tragedy, and we hope the person that is responsible gets um, – Gets a lot of time in prison for that, but that's all we're going to say about that. So, Max, rest in peace, man. Uh, I didn't and then know that. This, this past year, they had uh, Oldham County, that is, had Miller Brown win a boys state championship. And then uh, Tatum Millett won a girls. This was our first year uh, having the girls state tournament with individual and team. And Oldham County had a uh, state champion. She wrestled, she wrestled hard, man. She really did. Yeah. It was a, a awesome. Tatum really. I mean, she she put her all into it. Yeah. So great tradition there at Oldham County. Kind of more on the you know nineties, a little bit farther up. But you can see though that middle school program paying off. 
I don't know if Aaron would have been in that class and Josh or Pat or was Pat with you? Uh, Pat Sadlowski was, yeah. We overlapped. Okay, Not so, enough. you know, now in Kentucky, we're kind of starting to catch up to other states, but yeah. for so long, there was no organized middle school. There was really yeah. no organized um, elementary, even right. any organized off-season work, and now we're having to have our middle school and new state tournaments in arenas around the state. Like we've been to Louisville, Corbin, Pikeville. We're talking, you know, 10 mats all day long, just grinding. We had this past year at the, um, it's it's old Freedom Hall. It's where they have the um, Kentucky State Fair at the Expo Center there. You know, mm -hmm. it was crazy, but it's, it's growing, man. And it's great, great to see hear. teams start and catch on. And that's how you build a program. But let's go over your 93 or your state tournament run, I should say. 1993, 103 pounds as a freshman. We have an old saying in combative sports, you either win or you learn. Yeah. And 93 was year. a big learning year. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, yeah. I was gonna make a joke here. I was gonna say you pretty much got your PhD in 93 and learning, <laughs> but we'll we'll yep. cover that here a little oh, bit. Hard later. Not. Of hard yeah. Knocks, yeah, yeah, right there. The school of hard knocks, baby. Graduating <laughs> top of the class. But 94, though, man, you're 112 pounds, or I'm sorry, 103 pounds. That's my bad. 103 mm -hmm. pounds. You start off the state tournament wrestling John Young out of Louisville Seneca. It doesn't have how you win, it just has that you win. Do you remember? No, unfortunately, it, like I said, I, I'm not great at remembering a lot of matches. Yep. Um, no. I, well, like I should have done his tell message. me every score of every match he wrestled. I, yeah, sorry. I was going to say, if get uh, get Coach Whalen. He'd probably yeah. tell you your points. You remember and, still. Yo, yeah, I guarantee he will. As soon as I post this, he'll probably message me and say, hey, right. Jason won first round fall. You know, he'll go through all the – everything that we're missing. Um, the quarterfinals, of course, back then it was only a um, 16-man bracket. We had districts, regions, and then state. You get to the uh, quarters – you're wrestling Danny Fiss from Eastern. Again, mm -hmm. it doesn't have how you win. It just has that you win. The semifinals, you're wrestling Josh White from Campbell County. Uh, Josh goes down to get fourth place, and this one does have your score. You win by a final of two to zero. So you're in the finals. You're wrestling Sean Smith. I think that match, he may have broken his arm. I do remember oh. uh, a compound fracture. We came down kind of, he landed funny, and I think that match ended early because okay. he had a compound fracture. I felt horrible. Yeah, it was, it was really bad. Well, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit later, but spoken like a true doctor there. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, it was, it was it, gross. I remember. Oh, my God. Well, that's a uh, – Blood on the mat. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's something that a lot of people are finding out going back to the injury – is there's a reason why wrestling has, you know, injury time, blood time, recovery time, yeah. now the concussion time, is <laughs> yeah. when you've got two equally sized competitors going in hand-to-hand -hand right. combat with the goal yeah. to, you know, pin the other person's shoulders on the mat at some point, I hate to say it, but injuries yeah. are going to occur. Yeah. And yeah. that's just, you know, it's part of the part of the sport, man. It just is. But I remember feeling really bad for him because he was a really tough wrestler and it was a close match. Uh, it was just a fluke accident. Mm. So that that score probably was, you know, it just the match ended after that. Okay. Well, that yeah. I can see that. The mm -hmm. um, one thing that we've learned in doing this is I'm whoever kept the, you know, you can see the hand yeah. wrote, of course, right. my <laughs> highlighting, but you can tell, you know, it was everything was hand wrote. There yeah. was no um, track no wrestling, band. no computers. Every band. single thing was hand wrote. And I'm whoever done it, I'm thankful that you kept the records as good as you did. But at least we have this to go off of. You know what I mean? Some things yeah. haven't um, even yeah, no, even finding right the videos is still being a struggle. Actually, 94 was the first year that I got. And, mm. of course, I would heard your name a bunch just because I've refereed so much and been around wrestling. But the first match I went and watched was Bruce Steps from the heavyweight oh, yeah. bout because Bruce, yeah. you know, is from my end of the state. And yeah. I've always heard the, the legend yeah. of Bruce Steps. So yeah. there's yeah. a lot yeah. of yeah. legends, man, in the, in the <laughs> 90s. Uh, you're, you, Bruce Steps, Willie Ennels, Livingston, Miguel, all those, you know, 
all those guys that were people are finally now getting to see, and that's what I love. Yeah. But you're in the finals against Sean Smith from Christian County. And for those of you that don't know, Oldham County and Christian County are not close together at all. <laughs> They're opposite ends of the ones on yeah. the Mississippi River, the others on the Ohio River. Um, so had you wrestled Sean before? No, no, I hadn't wrestled them. Um, we knew Western Kentucky kids were tough and, you know, Hopkinsville, Christian County, they just had this reputation. I think Oldham County and our coach kind of instilled this, you know, you guys are looked at as kind of the soft kids, you know, the softer, you know, neighborhood kids. These kids have a little rougher upbringing, maybe come out, yeah. and, you know, swing it. And, uh, you know, we kind of had a little chip on our shoulder about that. And I think our coach, you know, played some mind games to get us uh, ready to, to face these guys. But certainly Sean was super tough, really strong, great wrestler, great technician. Um, yeah, we can talk more as the match goes on. But uh, yeah, yeah, I knew we, uh, it was going to be a tough match. And I knew, I think he, was he undefeated going into that? I don't know. Um, the, the bracket has his record at 31 and 1. Okay, so, so he just lost one. Yeah, you know, going into the finals, um, yeah. and he had, he beat uh, Tony Bowen from Sheldon Clark That's by a three to two right. decision. And uh, of course, Sheldon Clark goes on that year to win the team title. They won it back to back years there, ninety four and ninety five. So, yeah. um, I guess it's been probably a week ago now. I sent you the the Zoom links with your videos, and of course, you know, save save the, the juicy parts for the video, but. Um, <laughs> Had it been a while before then since you'd watched your finals videos? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I cringe a little bit to go back and watch these. Um, I, I'm not a fan of going back to watch. So it was a little tough to do that, but I, I appreciate it. It brought back some good memories, but Thanks. I hadn't really watched these since. I, nope. I don't think I've ever really watched the videos of the matches. Um, maybe senior year. I did rewatch that one afterwards. Okay. Uh, but I didn't go back before that. And, you know, coming into this, this year, having not really done anything freshman year, expectations just were super low. And and I know I'd worked really hard in the off season and, and gone to some camps and, you know, coach always, you know, gave us confidence. We were prepared. We, we knew mm -hmm. we worked hard. So I think having that low expectation this year was kind of a good thing for me. There was no, no target on my back or anything. No one really expected anything. So it was yeah. uh, a good way to go into a tournament. Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, of course, that target or that uh, being anonymous doesn't last very long, I promise you. So, Jason, man, we're going to pull up your match video here. The screen is black. Don't freak out, guys. That's just the way it is. Um, the uh, state finals videos that we got from the 90s, I don't know the exact name of the production company, but there was a company in Louisville. It's Louisville Lexington, one or the other, that done it. And mm – -hmm. This the uh, the opening is so 1990s. I had to leave yeah. it. In. I could not just cut it out because it's only for your match. The music, right. the graphics, and all that. Probably. I was like, man, that Probably. is such just a look back. It's 30 years ago. This is um, yeah, hard to believe. July 30 years ago, That's of crazy. July 9, 2024. So, Jason, man, we've talked enough about it. Let's go watch it. All right. Look at this. I love this. <laughs> the rollout video graphic. They spelled your name with one T there. I yeah, one T at the end. You know, that's the good thing about being anonymous. Yeah. All right. So we're here at Atherton Gym in Louisville. Yeah. My brother lived right across the street from Atherton, so I got to stay there, and it was really convenient. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. All right, so we're out of bounds. We're neutral now. At this point of your wrestling career, what was your, like, go-to takedowns here? What are we looking to do? I like to snap down, try and, you know, flip around, snap down, and then and then single leg to convert to a double. Um, yep. I don't think I had a great high crotch. We'll see it later. Sean's got a great one that he used on me here. But um, that and, you know, I think my first takedown's coming up. That one. There it is. Nice. Kind of a fireman's carry. Uh, and, you know, not the highest yield move to take down to try right off the bat, but it, but luckily it, it worked in this one. And I uh, got a couple of near fall points too. Um, yep. I think starting off with that was 
really good for confidence, you know, just getting off on the right track and getting an early lead. Um, but it was tight even after that, throughout the match. It was, this was not a runaway match in any regards. Yeah, man, you talked there about gaining a little bit of confidence or doing something just to get, you know, hey, yeah. this may be the state championship, but it's a match I've, you know, wrestled hundreds of times or whatever. Is yeah. so many guys that said that is just let's go out and let's try something right. I know I'm good at. Let's yeah. not go out and just do something, you know, to hit the spinning moss covered three handled family redundzel. <laughs> exactly. All right, so you're on top here and you're running like a pretty tight waist there, uh, reaching yeah. through. Right. When not he stands up on you, you go, um, Are we thinking, all right, I got a decently take down on him earlier or early in the match let's cut him let's not let him try to you know hit a funk roll or some type of scramble right. or right yeah I, I i felt pretty confident on my feet but not having wrestled sean and seeing that he had been really successful in the tournament uh i didn't feel confident just letting him up and trying to play the takedown game um so i was going to try and ride it I, at this point in my career not the greatest rider as you can see and not uh not great at turning either. I, I really wish in college I, I developed a lot better uh, little tilt move. Uh, mm -hmm. and a hundred times I was watching this, I was like, that would have been a perfect time to get the tilt in. But um, but I was able to maintain. I guess this was in high school. They have riding time now. I know college. No, has riding time. not not yet. We don't. Okay. Uh, no. So now I'm starting on the bottom. Yeah. And so I was going to ask you here the first time we saw you on the bottom. Are we? Yeah. You, you, uh, Sean does a really good job right there of not yeah. letting you go. No, oh, 100%. I thought I was going to get away there, um, but he was just strong and, you know, oh, I did get an escape there, but I think later in the match, you know, I stayed down a while and he was great at risk control. I just couldn't get my, my hand free. Um, yeah. That was well, a little close right there. That I was, was going to say uh, whenever I watched that, that call. I was like, two, two, two. <laughs> yeah. It easily could have been there. Um, yeah, that was a little dangerous. And Sean, which we'll talk about a little bit later, had a great practice partner, Grady Peterson. Yeah. Um, we'll discuss that a little bit later in the video, yeah. uh, you know, maybe in the 96 video. But sure. you know, coming in, um, Christian Very County funny. and Hopkinsville both. Nice you know, he gets a nice little duck under on you. Yeah. Uh, Hopkinsville and Christian County both, man, they had been – from about 85 to about, you know, 95, 96, they had had some oh, yeah. just absolute hammers on both oh, teams. Man. Yeah. You know, I, I watched your Willie Ennell's video and him and Rob Rickman when I was in middle school watching those matches. That, those were like, those were drama, man. Those were exciting to yeah. watch. Now, there's a young so coach, Waylon, I believe, I see there. Yeah, yeah. This is where Sean uh, – you know, he rides me out almost, I think, the rest of the period, and I just can't get that hand free. I, I've been pretty mm -hmm. successful with that switch and even the standing switch. I just could not pull it off against him. Um, like I said, he's super strong and, um, you know, good technical skills. He just, you yeah. know, controlled it. Yep. We've done uh, – Christian County has 25 state champions. We've done review videos – with uh, 23 of their 25, and you can see that wrist control right there. They must have drilled that in their sleep <laughs> because everybody that we've done, 80s, 90s, 2000s, yeah, they are they are good at that. Uh, yeah, yeah. That one on one, two on one. Yeah, yeah. This is where it's kind of cringy for me to watch these old videos. They're like, "What was I doing? Come on, do something." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But now, that was tough. What, why you've kind of, kind of got a little bit of a lull? Were you a natural 103? Were you cutting a bunch of weight? Or? Freshman year, I had to eat to gain weight. You know, I, okay. was, like, I was a tiny middle schooler in freshman year. So this was the first year I really cut weight. And, you know, okay. I'd seen teammates cutting weight for years. And like, oh, this is my chance. I'm going to be a weight cutter, a real wrestler now. Yeah. And I hated it. It was horrible. And I, I remember being zapped this tournament. I mean, uh, 103 was a pretty – I was cutting quite a bit of weight to make 103 that year. And probably should have wrestled 112 looking back at it. But, um, you know, I think, you know, everyone's cutting weight. So we're all 
kind of affected by it, but uh, mm-hmm. this was before the specific gravity testing, urine testing and stuff. And, you know, and just, yeah, and that's one, much. that's, that's one thing that I, I really appreciate as a referee. And I think you can appreciate in your line of work, which we'll talk about a little bit yeah. later is how sure. um, stringent that weight cutting has become body yeah. fat testing, yeah. all that. Yeah. The documentation, it's, it's a much better system than it used to be, you know? Definitely. Yeah. Less safer, better for the kids. Yeah, so at this point, I definitely feeling it, you know, waiting for that third period to get started. Yeah. And, uh, now, knowing Coach Whalen the way I do, you were probably in tip top shape. There's no question yeah, we about were, that. But had the nerves kind of took you know took your yeah. energy or definitely. I, I got really nervous and you know that's that's something that that's the energy too. We 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 did condition though, and I think being well conditioned and, and being you know just preparing helped with the nerves too, because you know you've done everything you can do. Nope. I was gonna say right there. A little skate. I, backing I up. Some credit. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, right there, backing out, watching it as a referee, I was like, oh, he's stalling, ref. Hit him with the yeah, stall. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to give, you know, on the nerve side, some credit to my to my mom. She was pretty low, low pressure. You know, she might come to tournaments. She might not. She'd come to state, of course. But, like, she let me do it and kind of drag myself with it. And I think that was good for me. You know, it wasn't being pressured by yeah. my parents to do this. I think at this point, I'm just like, hold on. Just hold yeah. on. <laughs> just you hold on. Hold the rest. Wait yeah. for the buzzer. Yeah. And you win by a final score of five to three. Nice match. And you wrestled hard. John wrestled yeah. hard. It was great. Yeah, he did. Uh, it was a great yeah. state finals match, man. It really was. Yeah. And, of course, we have a little bit of the medal ceremony. And there you are on the podium. Yeah. Mr. Jack Klein giving you your medal. Nice. Yeah, that's a great feeling. Oh, I guarantee it. And that's where this video ends. So, Jason, man, um, kind of talk through it, but now without the background noise, we can kind of get a little bit deeper on it. Does it play out the way you remember it all these years? Yeah, it does. I knew it was a tough match. I always remember it being a close match. Um, I didn't remember exactly what the score was, but it was a couple points difference. Um, you know, you always go back and look at these and uh, think about things you could have done, could have, would have. But, um, yeah, just happy to get that win against such a tough competitor in Sean. And hope he's doing well now. Um, you know, I, he, even though I never – you know, talk with them afterwards and them. You, know, you, you have this shared bond in wrestling because yep. you know what the other other people have been through because you've been through it. And you know, even the guys that uh, beat you or you had close matches against or rivalries, um, you have this shared bond and, and appreciation for and respect for. And uh, always like to see it. You know, I saw the Grady video and saw all the great things he's doing now, and uh, just love to see that. Oh, yeah. Of course, Sean's 95. Sean ended up being a two-time state champion, yeah. so don't feel bad for him. No, 95 no, being no. 96. So I'm, I, well, I guess to the – doesn't need any pity. Yeah, the, uh, the people that your video – because, like I said, you're a highly requested. Your your videos are going to draw people to the channel. Sean went on in 95 and 96, become a two-time state champion. His videos are on the channel. And yep. I want to circle back real quick to something. Did you say that you're – did somebody live close to Atherton there? Is that correct? Yeah, my oldest brother was uh, okay. right across from the parking lot. Like we, it was a two minute walk to get over to the gym. And I think that was the last year we were at Atherton. We went to. Uh, uh, well, ninety five uh, is ninety five. Oh, one more year. Okay. Yeah, one more year there. Um, yeah, the uh, a special year because uh, my my brother's passed now, but um, his car accident. But we. Oh my uh, goodness! Sorry to hear that. It, it, uh, thank you. But, you know, really fond memories of celebrating over at his place and, and just the family being together. That was a really special uh, championship year. And so many guys that live in the city or live in Oldham County that we've done from the 80s and 90s, they have said yeah. they went home after they won their semis. 
they went like uh, Tendai Cherisika went home. Yeah. Uh, Chris Zinner from St. Yeah. Xavier went home. There's so many guys that we've done that, yep. you know, they went home. As soon as they wrestled their semifinals, they won. They got in the car, went straight home, um, yeah. slept. Right. You know, yep. uh, mom, grandma, somebody made them yeah. pasta or spaghetti, yeah. something with a lot of carbs right. in it. And I feel a little normal, right? Just kind yeah. Of normal life. Uh, you know, take a shower, sleep in your own bed. And that's yep. something, too, that over the years that we found is like, you know, uh, a team goes, like a football team goes to the state championship, baseball, boys mm -hmm. and girls basketball, whatever. The teams yep. are mandated to stay in, Ho even if they're from Lexington, Louisville, wherever the host city is. Oh, they're mandated to stay in that city to kind of give everybody okay. or in a hotel, I should say, yeah. to give everybody mm -hmm. the same kind of playing field and wrestling. Yeah. It wasn't that way, man. There was dudes that, like you said, walk across the parking lot and you're, yeah. you're there. So, <laughs> exactly. you know, that's a, hey, that's a competitive advantage. I mean, it, it just absolutely. is. Yeah. Um, I think whatever you can get. Yeah. Absolutely, man. So like I said, five to three, excellent performance. Um, the, uh, you kind of put – you were no longer anonymous. Once you're on top of the podium, anonymity yeah. is gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who's this, who's this Talbot kid? What, yeah. what happened to this Talbot? Where, where, what's he doing now? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think we've reached a great ending point on your 94 video. Everybody be sure to watch Jason's 96 video. It'll be below this one on the channel and on the playlist because we have – a lot to talk about in the 96 video. So we're going to wrap this one up here. We will see you guys and girls in 1996.